As children across the country enjoy two weeks off for Easter, one family that probably won't pass the time in front of the screen is the Wells. In an unexpected turn of events this year, the British royal family celebrated Easter Sunday without the presence of Princess Catherine and her family. The family are spending the special holiday together at Emner Hall, Norfolk, as their three children adjust to Catherine's diagnosis, which was discovered during post-operative tests following her major abdominal surgery. Against health scares, the family finds solace and strength in each other's company during this tough time, according to a source close to the royal family, revealed that Catherine and William just wanted to go away for Easter, spend time together, and the five of them away from the world, and move on. And while the mum of three certainly practices what she preaches, her children appear to have naturally inherited her love of the outdoors. Earlier this month, she revealed how her youngest son, Louis, asked almost every day to play in the garden after school as well as enjoying time in the garden at home. Their hometown is famous for outdoor activities, such as cycling and walking. The family were pictured hiking as the children led about on the Norfolk coast, while wrapped up to protect against the windy conditions. Princess Catherine has often spoke about the importance of activity, exercise, and getting outdoors, which she believes is the most important for young children. Prince William has previously spoken of the family's fondness for Norfolk and how it's come to feel like home for them. Over the weekend, the couple and their three kids were spotted in Norfolk enjoying a meal at a local pub. The family looked content as they tucked into burgers and chips in the pub garden. They enjoyed their first meal in the fresh air with their family pet, a black spaniel in tow. The kids, who usually dress up for the family portraits or engagements, such as George's outing to Wembley early this year, were dressed casually in shorts, t-shirts, and trainers. An onlooker described how it was amazing to see how down-to-earth the family were. They were laughing and chatting and clearly enjoying each other's company. The fellow pub-goer also told, They were eating outside, I suppose because it was easier for the children. There was no security around just like them chillin' like any other family, and they were all laughing. Even when the family is indoors, Catherine and William ensure they are carrying out the fun yet educational activities such as baking. However, although the Prince and Princess of Wales like to encourage their children to spend as much time outside as possible, they also understand the importance of indoor family activities. Following the princess's recent health disclosure, the Easter season traditionally symbolizing hope, renewal, and rebirth takes on a deeper significance for the Wales family this year. Amid the challenges posed by Princess Catherine's battle with cancer, the family retreats to the tranquil setting of Amner Hall, seeking respite, seeking respite and unity. The prince and princess of Wales are getting through her health crisis with support from Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, who buoy them with smiles back. Indeed, her work and earliest development has led her to explore the benefits of the great outdoors for youngsters. The princess also revealed how she and her family have fun together by playing sports with her competitive children, and that she manages to squeeze in exercise time with them in the morning before the school run. Thanks to his grandfather, Prince Philip's development of the area, the Wales' parents took their children to the Burnham Market International Horse Trials in Norfolk, not far from their country home in Amner Hall on the Sandringham Estate, where they hung out with William's first cousin, Zara Tyndale, and her family.